Good morning, everyone. Kinjo again. Uh, I flew in from Bangkok to Vientiane yesterday, and so I'm uh, in Vientiane. Uh, early in the morning, I decided to take a walk, and uh, here I'm uh, at the uh, greatest temple of all Vientiane and perhaps in all Laos. Uh, that's called Tat Luan. And in front of the, the temple, there is a statue of a, a uh, old king. Uh, now Laos is a uh, communist country, so there is no king anymore. But this one uh, was the uh, the king who built this city, current capital, Vientiane. And um, his name is what is it? King Saiseta, uh, in the uh, Laotian uh, language, that will be Jiao Saiseta. And I just want to uh, show you the statue. And here we go. Unfortunately, the sun is right behind it, so uh, it's a perfect um, backlit situation. <laughs> but uh, I might come back here later and try it again. So, I'm standing in front of the uh, main gate to this magnificent Buddhist temple. Tat Luan, uh, which is the greatest in all Laos. And it, we got here very early, so uh, it is not open, and we have to wait here a little bit, but I uh, just want to show you the surrounding. And these awesome, uh, what it seems to be a Looks like oak tree, but I know it's not. I see some pink flowers all over the tree, so that I don't think that's an oak, but uh, it's a gigantic tree. And then here's a little palm tree, and behind that, uh, that is a building uh, and a living quarters for the monks uh, for this Tat Luan temple. And uh, over here, I'm looking at the the, the back side of the, the king's uh, statue. What is it? It's a house for the monk. Monk? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is also a house for the monk. They have a live and lie. So, on the opposite side of this uh, entrance square, there are more buildings, uh, living quarters for the monks. This, the golden colored uh, structure with the multiple towers, uh, looks like a stupa. That, that is the, uh, I believe, uh, main um, uh, building of this Tat Luan. And it is backlit, so you don't really see the color probably, but uh, I, I think I will come back in the late afternoon uh, when we have a sun behind us. And I see this flower. I don't know what the name is, but I see them all around the city. And obviously this carries nectar. So let me show you what I found. There is a butterfly. Beautiful butterfly and looks like some kind of a monarch. That's so cute. Right? Mm.
is 6.45 in the morning and uh, there are some people in this area, it's, it's a big park and uh, people are doing something like uh, Tai Chi and some other younger folks are doing something like a Zumba type of activity and it's uh, pretty busy already at 6.45. Right next to the uh, Tat Luang temple, you see this stupa, and this is the uh, army cemetery, and I assume most of the uh, people buried here are the soldiers who fought uh, during the time of uh, Vietnam War and Laos and also um, Cambodia were fighting uh, together at the same time um, to, for, for the uh, communist revolution, I think. And from uh, this cemetery, we can look 180 degrees across this big parking lot. Uh, we have giant parking lot and then the, you see a, a big crane and uh, you can hear the sound of construction and this building they're working on uh, it's gonna be something like uh, Vietnam Laos Friendship Building. Um, I think the uh, two countries are very close and, and share a border. Uh, much of that is uh, Great River Mekong. And uh, I, I was told that uh, the two governments will have many meetings together once this uh, friendship building is completed. And now you see it, the sun is up and uh, you see the uh, roofs of the Tat Luan and that great gold and colored stupa is the uh, main thing about of the uh, Tat Luang. Uh, now we walked about 10 minutes from Tat Luang temple and arrived at a small market. So, Vano is telling me that uh, they, they call this uh, Talat Noi, literally small market. And I can smell something good, they're cooking something up already. Mm, yeah, the grilled fish. And uh, yeah, it is pretty small. around the corner and there are some uh, drinks in the packages and the fridge the ID Right next door, it looks like it, there is a small temple, um, temple for this neighborhood. And we started to see the roof of the temple. It's 
so I see a, a great house and uh, not so great house right next to it and then this city Vientiane is experiencing a uh, rapid growth and development so uh, you will see this uh, great contrast of something new and great with a uh, old and tiny uh, sitting right next to each other so now I just stepped into the uh, temple ground this is a beautiful building right here and uh, when you go to the uh, Lao temple ev everywhere you see this uh, seven-headed uh, snake as a I believe they, 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 they are uh, supposed to protect Lao people. And this side looks like uh, something is going on here. Uh, perhaps a renovation of a very old building. And next to that uh, seems to be the main building for this temple and it looks pretty old. It's a relatively small ground property, but um, there are so many buildings in here. There are some roosters walking around. Oh, let me see. I'll just peek into the building. Well, this seems to be a main uh, building for this temple. Oh, that's unusual. Oh, this one only had a three heads. I'm not sure what's going on here, but... Uh, and then, oh, I see a bunch of people gathered inside. Yeah, maybe I should say hello to them. Sabaydi! They're all Benoni's neighbors and, and uh, probably they all know her from when she was a little kid. Now uh, we're walking in Banner's neighborhood and found this uh, little tiny coffee shop. And we're sitting at the table. It's a one table coffee shop. Let me show you how it is. And this lady, um, the sole employee or, or perhaps the owner of this coffee shop, and it is Cantana Coffee. And we just ordered two cups of coffee and she's making it. And uh, this is the entirety of the coffee shop. How good is that? It's very efficient. And let's see, espresso and the number 10, 13 and 15, I need to ask what the, what the currency is. Hey, the price is in kip? Uh, uh, one dollar and fifty cents for one coffee. Okay, one coffee. So which one? The small? The small one. Medium, medium large. large. So that's a ten thousand kip. Uh, 
Oh, one dollar thirty cents. But but what? So what is the price? Number ten. Number ten is a thousand. A thousand. Ten thousand. Okay, ten thousand gift. It's like it's like a dollar twenty cents. Oh, dollar twenty. Okay. And thirteen, fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. ก็ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ลงเลยนะคะมาหยามบ้านเราเนี่ยมาทําไมอยู่ในเป็นเนี่ยเป็นเส้นหลวมอายุประมาณ <laughs> 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 So she just got uh, a cup full of ice from the ice chest, ice box, and poured coffee in there. Wow, more. More ice. Wow. Is this small? Huh? Small? Really? Wow. So everybody, this is a small size iced coffee and I'm um, guessing that so that's about one dollar and twenty cents. <laughs> yeah, it's still a good deal. Okay, I'm gonna taste it now. Wow. Yeah. It's very good coffee. Awesome, yeah. Yeah, dark roast. And um, obviously, it, it's got uh, one of the main ingredients is carnation brand um, uh, condensed milk. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, just like the one uh, we will have at uh, Houston area Vietnamese restaurant. They call it Cafe Suda. It tastes exactly like that. It's great. Hey, Donnelly, yes. what's your name? My name is No. Oh, you speak English very well. Awesome, Little. No, that's great. That's all you need to say. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, what, what was the name of the, the place they grow coffee? Paksong. Paksong. Paksong Salaman. Mm. So this coffee is from Paksong? Yes. So Lao grown Lao coffee. And then you're gonna see, show you guys about Park Song, about the coffee tea mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we we're, we're going to uh, visit southern part of Laos later and see the coffee plantation. That's part of my uh, uh, itinerary. Sap, sap, sap. Yeah. I think it's a, it has a good balance. It's you know bitterness and sourness uh, all together and sweetness. Yeah, that's a well balanced coffee. I would say it's pretty good. ตลาดเนี่ยก็ประมาณ 30 ครับ
ได้ไหมคะเจ้าเข้าไปทางขอบขวาเข้าไปคะเจ้าเปลี่ยนใหม่เลยเป็นตลาดนมข้อเร็วตลาดนะคะเจ้าปิดจะได้ตลาดร้อยแปดสิบแจงนี้ปะอ่าน่าจะไปดีใกล้กว่าแต่ว่าเรื่องราคามันก็ไล่ราคาทั่วไปไล่ราคาตลาดไปเพจตลาดเรื่องที่พักซื้อโอ้ยเขาเรื่องแต่เดียวนี่มันนอนบ้านลำเนาะเนี่ยว่าจากเบนเป็นการคืนเพราะว่าลูกมาเนี่ยสวยละนอนมุ้งเบนละสวยละละเออมุ้งคืนละละมีแต่เงินบาทเป็นแบบนี้ What what you say We talking about the market Market Okay Cantana, your name? No? Yeah? Ah, Suji. The full name. The full name Cantana. And the middle name Nu. The full name Cantana. Cantana. Okay. Gotcha. So, everybody, when you come visit Vientiane, please look for this little tiny coffee shop run by two. Cantana. 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 ได้ทำอาหารจีนตุ๊กตุ๊กทานจีนบ้านเราจะอยู่ในนี้ป่ะฮะบ้านเราจะห้องสมสวยเลยห้องบริเปิดเหรอเด็กไม่เปิดละอ
Hello, Sabaydi. And Bano is friend. Oh, Kunlao. And they have uh, different kinds of uh, rice sold in the sack. And so I guess people come here and take whatever they need uh, and measure uh, the weight here and pay for it, I guess. Valerie said uh, since she got here last time, uh, she sees so many more vehicles, uh, the four wheels and two wheels together. Uh, so she doesn't feel comfortable driving here because there are too many cars and bikes. And then I, I I've been w walking around uh, all this morning, but I haven't seen a single traffic lights and so that the each and every intersection in this town is very chaotic and i don't know how they can figure out you know who goes first or who goes next and i'm pretty sure i just have to assume there are a whole bunch of traffic accidents happening right now in vientiane